Hi, this is Terrence Young with eFunder. Today I want to talk to you about is the difference between a full dock loan and a no dock loan, which is also known as a light dock loan. Um, and I'll tell you and explain the difference between all of them, okay? So first, let's take the full dock loan. The full dock loan is normally going to be your institutional lenders, like your banks, your credit unions. They're the ones that's going to require the most information, which is consists of the full dock loan. So that may be, well, normally three years of tax returns, both personal and business, a profit and loss statement of what you've done from the beginning of the year to the date of or the month of um, you're applying for that loan. Um, also a personal financial statement. They want to see what your net worth is. You're going to be required to um, to supply your corporate documents. Your corporate documents usually consist of your EIN number, which is from your SS4 form from the IRS. It's going to consist of an operating agreement and your articles of organization from your state. They will also require things like your W-2s for the year. They want you to be able to um, see that you're making income. They want you to have that, a lot of times, have that job or that income showing that you can actually support yourself, okay? So they may require three months of um, bank stubs. Uh, I'm sorry, three months of um, bank statements, but they will also require two to three of your last pass pay stubs. So this is all what they put together inside of a... Um, a full doc loan package. Now they may ask for a lot more things, but that's more that's normally the majority of what they ask. So here's the advantage of it. The advantage of it is usually when you take out a full doc loan, you're usually getting the better rates. Now one of the disadvantages of a full doc loan, these loans, they take a long time to close. Normally from 45 days to 60 days is the normal for um, these type of loans. And these type of loans are also mostly used for long-term purchases. So long-term financing. So if you're buying, you know, that investment, single family home, one to four unit, apartment building, whatever, right? So always realize the full doc loan is going to take a lot longer to be able to close. Now, here's the advantage of the no doc loan, or here's what the no doc loan consists of. Normally with them, these are non-institutional like type lenders. These are normally for your, say your fix and flips, um, but they can also be used for long-term financing. And what's normally required is three months worth of bank statements. Once again, your corporate documents, like I said before, consists of your operating agreement, your EIN number, and your articles of organization. And this is for all members of that particular company, okay? Um, but that's pretty much all that's required. And on a no dot loan, sometimes when they call it a light dot loan, they may want one year of tax returns or maybe two, but usually just, just to see if you're filing. So no, no doc loans, they definitely have an advantage because pretty much they're quick. You don't need all the things that the loan term fight, you know, um, the finance institutionals need. So normally the advantage is you could close a deal pretty quickly. And I'm talking about as quick as, I mean, 20 days, sometimes even less. It all depends on how fast can that property get appraised, right? So these are the advantages. Now, if you found value in this, if you like what you heard, you want more information, um, you know, definitely like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to set up a 15-minute call to set, um, <laughs> consultation about a deal that you may have or a deal that you want to discuss, my company at eFunder, what we do, we help 
business owners and real estate investors save time and money by finding the right type of financing for your specific needs. So, like I said, if you found if you found value in this, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.